Hi, I'm Tony. Welcome to Sports by Shop's video about the Held Jakarta textile jacket. This is Held's latest summer-only textile jacket, which has large sections of mesh material to make sure cooling air can flow easily through to your body. There are large sections of that mesh on either side of the main fastening zip, on the front of the sleeves, and then also down the back. And my experience of a couple of hundred miles of riding says those mesh sections work really well. We had a late summer heat wave here in Britain a couple of weeks ago, and wearing this jacket was an absolute godsend in those kind of conditions. The mesh material is surrounded by a more robust 500 denier polyester material that provides more structural strength and it also gives the main bulk of the impact and slide protection. That material has light reflective panels on the sleeves, the collarbones and the back to help you stay really visible in a car's headlight beam. There are accordion stretch zones above each elbow and the inner sleeve from armpit to elbow is made from a resilient stretch textile to give even more flexibility. Velcro sleeve adjusters just here mean you can tweak the fit too to stop the jacket flapping around on your arms, which is something a lightweight jacket like this would otherwise have a tendency to do. The other fit adjustments available on this jacket are at the waist, there's a belt on each side here, and then there's a popper on each side at the lower hem. The main fastener to this jacket is nothing complicated, it's just a zip with a collar tab at the top. That collar tab secures with magnets, and maybe it's just me, but I really like magnetic fasteners as they do themselves up they come apart really easily and they don't get caught on helmet linings like you get sometimes with Velcro. The good news for me then is that the pockets also do up with magnets as well as a bit of Velcro. So you've got the magnet there and some Velcro. Those pockets are waterproof. It's the only part of the jacket that is waterproof. So if it rains, you'll get wet, but your stuff won't as long as your stuff is in one of those pockets on the front there. Lastly, on the outside, the cuffs, they secure with zip and Velcro tabs and have plenty of room for gloves to go inside, or you can wrap them up tight so your gloves go over the top if that's the way you prefer to ride. Switch into the inside, there's a mesh liner throughout and then three pockets. There's a Napoleon pocket just behind the main zip and then a chest pocket on either side. One of those is phone sized and then held say the other one is a map slash document pocket. That's the way they put it anyway. The standard armor is at the shoulders and the elbows. It's approved at the basic level one of the CE standard and it also passes optional tests within CE to show it's still effective in extreme cold and extreme heat. The elbow armor is height adjustable, but it is a little bit of a fiddle to adjust it. You undo the zip in the liner by the cuff just here, pull the sleeve inside out and then the arm is in a pocket which secures with Velcro. Peel it away, reposition it to suit your arm length and hope you never need to do it again. There's no back or chest protection as standard, but there is the facility to fit both of those. Opening a zip at the base of the liner lets you get to the pocket for the back protector, and you can also access two Velcro tabs where you can attach those chest inserts. So covering overall protection standards, Held don't show the details of their CE pass levels on their labels, but they've sent me a list and this jacket meets the basic level A within the recent CE clothing standard, which is exactly what I'd expect for a lightweight jacket like this. On the inside, there are also blue loops, and these are what Held rather grandly calls clip-in technology. Pull them out from the shell, and then you've got poppers on there. Held sell a wide range of liners that can then be attached into their jackets using these poppers, starting with basic thermal linings and waterproof linings that cost around 40 quid. The price range for those liners goes right up to a Gore-Tex jacket that can be clipped in or worn over the top instead, and that costs £282.99 as we record it. And that brings me on to price. The Jakarta jacket is £179.99 at the moment. So finally, let's talk about sizing. The Jakarta is available in both men's and women's fit. And for us blokes, there's both a regular fit through the body and also what Held call a tummy fit for people who need a bit more room around the middle, but don't need to increase the size elsewhere on the jacket. So that's been the Held Jakarta, and I hope that tells you everything you wanted to know about it. But if there is anything you'd like to ask or to add, then please pop a comment below. Thanks for watching.